Riot have actually listened to the community and made some good changes. There's also news on the cinematic arena and more. To catch you up on what happened, about a month ago Riot announced plans to transition from summoner names to Riot IDs. This was going to result in a lot of people having the same name but different taglines. Riot were also going to give one free name change every year but then charge $10 in RP for any additional name changes. A lot of people were annoyed at this considering pro players or anyone can be impersonated and they removed the ability to change names with Blue Essence. Well earlier today Riot posted a new article in response to this. They start off giving some context to the changes. This is something I didn't even think of but apparently it takes new league and TFT players an average of 5 minutes and 8 rejected attempts to even pick a unique name and thousands give up. Just making it to the game tutorial shouldn't be this hard. A lot of people will imitate the name they want with numbers and symbols and Riot think it's better to tidy this up and I assume to make it look better in game. It's also easier from a tech perspective to have only one naming system. Now on to the changes. Riot are going to let people change their name for free every 90 days instead of 365 days. This is great news and I'm glad Riot actually took the feedback on board and changed this. The scoreboard will update to always display the hashtag when multiple players have the same name in a game. However Riot said this is actually a rare instance anyway. You'll also always be able to see the hashtag at any time by hovering that player on the scoreboard and that hashtags are customizable. Riot also mentions they have something planned to combat professional or well-known players being impersonated. This sounds like they might add a verified tick or something like that. I'm not sure how they'll register people or what the requirements will be but it could be a long way or process before this is implemented properly. Next up, the other day people pointed out that the arena that's on the PBE now would only let you queue up as a duo or eight party if someone in the group is gladiator rank and a lot of us felt that this restriction should only be for players on the top of the leaderboard instead instead of all gladiator players. Well Riot Cadmus responds saying that they agree the threshold is too low and will adjust it to only happen for the visible leaderboard top 100 or so players when arena hits live service. Moving on to Huey, Riot e Misery posted another link in the main subreddit, this time linking to a wiki page about golden ratios, another mathematical expression, which can also be visualized using a spiral. Someone commented that these wiki page teasers could be teasing each ability one by one. If that's the case they seem to be teased every three days which means we're due for another one in about 12 hours from now. I'm impressed that nothing significant has been leaked yet. People were expecting an update during the week but my theory is that the new champ reveal will have something to do with the world's final tomorrow. A few people have reported seeing some strange markings in their ARAM games that looks like it could be artistic marks related to Huey. However this seems difficult to replicate so I'm not 100% sure if it's Huey teasers or people needing to upgrade their PCs. Maybe it's both and Huey will corrupt the computer of anyone griefing or inting games to force them to log off and touch grass. Speaking of touching grass and memes, Riot have responded to the Dear Karthus alt meme with a meme of their own, showing a Karthus DM saying, I ain't reading all that, I'm happy for you though, or sorry that happened. And on the topic of Pingate, it looks like Freak is taking a step back from social media due to toxicity and death threats. I genuinely hope this helps his mental health and he definitely doesn't deserve death threats. It shouldn't have to be said, but do not send death threats to anyone, especially over a video game. He deserves constructive criticism and feedback but not death threats. It's a shame because the people sending those are probably going to cause the opposite effect and that Pingate is mostly going to be remembered by these threats and freak quitting social media as opposed to the actual constructive feedback about the ping changes people were giving. Next up someone asked if there'll be a new opening video like the call for the new season and Riot Medler responds saying there'll be a new season start cinematic of the same sort of style, approach etc as the call. So some more good news from Riot considering this year's one was terrible. Thanks for watching, see you next time.